appreciate you coming up and I know I told you I have to talk to you about something serious and like, I just I appreciate you making time for it because I really have to get something off my chest. I know we're boys so we don't like doing these serious yeah, yeah, songs yeah. but sometimes you have to. So you know how tonight it's my first night moving into my new house? Like I'm gonna be oh, sleeping there tonight for the first time. That's crazy bro. Like like how long have we been talking about it? Literally it's gonna be so weird like us like like going in there and like it's gonna be fun yeah i mean that's what i wanted to talk to you about so obviously like when i first bought the house i don't know like obviously we talked and said that we were gonna live there together me and you you were gonna move in yeah. with me and you know we were gonna make cool content and i mean put the videos to the side we're just boys like living together in a house like that is just a dream hell yeah and everything was set up you know for me and you yeah but, I mean, I just want you to remember that all those talks we had and all the plans we made, that was when I was single. I didn't have a girl. And like, obviously I'm not picking one person over the other. I'm not choosing my girl over my best yeah, friend. That's, bro. that's not what I'm doing. Like, at the same time, the more I think about it, like, I just feel like if I'm living at that house with my girl, it's like, it just wouldn't really make sense for you to be there. Like, I, I thought about it too. Like, you're in a different situation now, you know? I'm not even saying it in a way where I'm kicking you out. It's more so I'm trying to make you comfortable. Cause you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. if a couple goes on a date, being a third wheel, just being on that date for a couple of hours is already a weird feeling. Yeah. Imagine if you were to live there with me and my girl, that's being a permanent third wheel. I yeah. just feel like you wouldn't be comfortable. And no, bro, that's... I understand that 100%. I don't want no hard feelings. No, bro, come on, bro. No hard feelings, but you know, I'm not going to think like that. You know, no, but no, no, 100, bro, you don't got to explain yourself. Yeah. I understand. It's you and your girl, yeah. do your thing. I mean, I'm glad you're understanding about like why I wouldn't want you to move in there with us, but I also don't want you to think that's like me cutting you off as a friend or. Bro, with you, I know it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? It's no hard feelings, bro. Like, it doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't bother me at all. Bro, you're a real one for understanding, but I just want us to still be on good terms. And bro, understand. And it's not like I have nowhere to go. Like, I'm here. You know how comfortable I am here. With you know how I am with your dad, bro. Like, your parents are like my parents. Like, yeah. I wake up. I go downstairs right away. I, like, I literally sit with your parents outside before I even see you. Like, yeah. It's not like you're going there and then, like, I have nowhere to go. I'm not comfortable. Like, bro, you know I like staying here. Like, at least I'm here. You know what I'm saying? You'd want to stay, like, at my parents' house if you're not with me yeah like, i mean i'll stay like it's chill you know i'm like i'm with your parents i chill with your parents like a lot especially like whenever we need to film i could just pull up on you and yeah. it's not like far like obviously i know you're really close to my parents but at the same time like like bro you you've been here how many times have my parents tried to push me and brian out of the house oh brandon go move into your house <laughs> yeah, brian yeah, go yeah. buy a house like it's kind of like not not like they were pushing us out yeah, of the yeah, house. Yeah. Like, like they're they're motivating you to go do your own thing. Yeah, they're they're they want their time too, bro. Exactly. Like my parents. They're at that age now. They're just trying to chill. Thank them. you. Yeah, my yeah. parents. They're they're both retired. Yeah. They both don't work now, so they are at the age where I feel like they would want their own privacy. And they, I mean, come on. There's a reason they want me and Brian out of the house. They want to chill by themselves. They want to have some alone time, which they never had because me and Brian were living here all the time. So. I just feel like, you know, as close as you are to my parents, don't you think that if they didn't want me and Brian in the house, they probably also wouldn't want you here? Not in a bad way, no, but no, just no, for no, them to course, spend time yeah, together. At least you're telling me. Like I said, bro, I'm not kicking you out because no, I love no, you. No, but no, at the no, same no, time, no, like no. you got family in Arizona. Your family has a house there. And like, I'm going to be living with my girl. My parents are going to be here. So don't you think it would make a little bit of sense for you to go back home? Like to Arizona? Yeah. I mean, bro, I understand like, about not living at that house, you're doing your thing. I understand here, your parents want their space, you know, they're trying to relax and stuff. Like, I could get my own place out here. And then obviously whenever we need to film, we can film whenever, you know, you want just a homie out here, like I'm out here, we can chill. Like, if you ever need me. I mean, when I came out here, I kind of lost everything I had out there. Like, you know, like not lost it, but like, you know, I came out here to like pursue everything out here, you know? So like, I don't have what I had out there when I was out there, you know? So it's like a reset button. Like I hit the reset button. If I go out there, it's like, I'm in a new state again. I gotta yeah. figure out what I gotta do. Like, I mean, no, no, now that you put it that way, you know I love you. I would never put you in a position to restart. So yeah. if you're if you're down, I, I didn't know getting your own place would even be something you wanted to do. Of course, if you'd still be down to live in San Diego. Of course, bro. and obviously like when we film, we link up. And then other than filming, like when we want to chill like homies, we chill like homies. Yeah, because I was going to say, you like, got me, I got you, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, like, you moving to Arizona, like I said, I didn't want to kick you out. That would be worst case scenario for me, because not only would I be, not only am I losing a homie, but I'm also losing a brother. Yeah. Like, like you're, you're like my brother. So if you were to go to a different state, I would be sad. I would be upset. So if you're down yeah. and you're willing to get an apartment or get a place out here in San Diego, like nearby to my house, of course, that would be best case scenario. I would appreciate it. I'd that. be down, bro. And then we can still do whatever we do. The only 
difference is I'm waking up and sleeping at my place. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if that was something you'd be willing yeah, to do. Like down, paying for down. a place out here and stuff like that. But yeah. yeah, not living together, which obviously you know would be so lit if we lived in the house. Like we had a lot of plans, bro, like, together. Bro. I know, I know. It was like <laughs> we would talk about it every day. Like I, there was points I'll dream about it, bro. No, but it's all good. You're like, making me feel bad saying nah, that. No, bro. bro, come on. I swear to God, don't feel bad, bro. It's not like that. No, nah, I was just going to say, bro, as long as there's no hard feelings, and you bro, know not that. not at all, bro. No, nah, bro, I love you. I love you too, bro. I hope, like, you're not upset. I mean, I, I feel like, I'm not saying you're upset, but I feel like, obviously, you feel some type of way, but. Bro, I don't feel a type of way. Bro. Really? Probably don't want to see my face right now just after this talk, but I know Brian's not filming today, so bro. if you want to chill with him for a little bit. And then there's a Suns game later. So if you want to go chill with Brian for a little bit, maybe talk to him about what you want to do. Or maybe go look at some apartments if you don't want to go see Brian. And then maybe we'll watch a Suns game together at night. Yeah. What time is the game? The game's at 7. 7? Yeah, so it's like in a couple hours. So yeah, go go to Brian's. Maybe look up some apartments online and then I'll see you at 7. I'll pull up on somewhere. Okay, bro. I love you, bro. I love you too. I'll walk you down. I'm about to leave. Yeah, I'm going to go set up some stuff at the new house for tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Guys, I feel so, so, so bad for Dennis. I don't think you guys understand. I've pulled a lot of crazy pranks on my YouTube channel, but this might be the one prank that actually hurts my heart. Like it's genuinely making me upset that I did this prank to my best friend Dennis, but I hope nobody actually believed that I was kicking my best friend out. I hope none of you guys actually believe that because this was all just a big prank. Follow me guys. I want to record Dennis leaving. Bro, I feel so bad. Look at him in the golf cart. I actually feel so bad. There he is leaving the house, going to Brian's to hang out. He's probably so stressed right now. Bro, I actually feel so bad. Dennis, I love you, bro. Hey, what's up, Bucky? Do me a favor. Next time you see Dennis, I need you to show him a lot of love and give him a lot of kisses because I just pranked him really bad. So Please, a lot of love for Dennis next time you see him, okay? Next step to execute this prank, get some help from Pops. Dad. You work too hard. Stop working, please. No, nothing. You retired your regular job for a reason, to relax. This is my relaxation. Okay, okay. Well, um, I need you to do me a huge favor. What? Can you please come with me to record something at my new house? Because uh, let's just say Dennis isn't available at the moment and I need a cameraman. Right now? Right now, right now. Okay, can I... Couple minutes. Okay, finish doing your thing and then I'll be waiting for you in the car. Okay, bye dad. I'll see you. Okay guys, me and Papa Rug are en route to my new house. Let's go, baby. All right guys, so I just pulled up to my new house and like I said, bro, that whole conversation I had with Dennis, that was just a big prank. Come on, bro. If you guys know the friendship, that me and Dennis have, then you guys would already know I was just messing with him, bro. Me and Dennis are like this. He's like my blood brother. So no, I would never make him go get his own apartment in San Diego. I would never put my best friend in a position where he would feel like I'm picking somebody over him or where he feels like he has to go buy his own place and go pay for his own home. I would never do that. That's not the type of friendship me and Dennis have. Come on, bro. I was just messing with him. So. This house right here, this is the home that me and my best friend Dennis, yeah, that's right, we're gonna be living here together. But if you guys know, man, look, as much as I love Dennis, at the end of the day, I'm an entertainer. I'm a content creator. So I had to mess with him a little bit before I give him the surprise of him moving into this house. I had to pull that prank on him so that you guys had something entertaining to watch. Come on, guys. It would be easy for me to go up to Dennis and be like, yo, what's up, bro? Tonight, we're moving into this house together. But what fun would that be for you guys to watch? My job is to entertain my supporters. And I know everybody loves pranks, so I had to pull a prank on Dennis before giving him the surprise of his lifetime and surprising him with his own room in my new house. So let me show you guys which room Dennis is gonna be staying at. Oh, and by the way, about, you know, me and my girl moving in here together. To be completely honest with you guys, that topic hasn't even came up. Me and my girl haven't even talked about that yet. She has a place, she lives with her family, and she's really, really close to her family, so I don't even know if she would wanna move in here. Like, I don't even know if her moving in with a guy she just started dating is even something she would wanna do. Like I said, bro, me and Jasmine, we haven't even crossed that bridge yet, so, I mean, we'll figure all that out over time. But for now, it's me and Dennis living in this house. And let me show you guys where his room is. Oh, you guys might be a little bit confused. Brandon, why are you leaving your home to show us Dennis's room? Didn't you say Dennis is moving in with you? Well, that's the cool thing about where Dennis is gonna be staying. So you take about 10 steps from my front door. There's my front door right there. 
and you come over here and Dennis is actually going to have his very own separate guest house. Bro, check this out. This is all Dennis's. Okay, anyways, bro, I don't want to talk too much. This is going to be Dennis's room. Oh, and look, we're not done. Hold on. You think this is the finished tour? Dad, let me see the camera real quick because behind this door in the corner, I got to show you guys what else Dennis gets with this room. Boom. Dude, this is so sick. Hold up, let me show you guys. So, he obviously gets his toilet. He gets his own bathtub. He gets two sinks, you know, just in case Dennis, you know, maybe he wants to bring a girl over one day. Then, on top of having a bathtub, he has his very own walk-in shower. Dude, super sick. And then, you have a walk-in closet for Dennis. So, dude, this is a really spacious, really big bathroom. And not to mention, you got the whole guest room over here, bro. Okay, guys, so if you thought giving Dennis this separate guest room all to himself was already a good surprise, what if I told you I'm not gonna surprise Dennis with this room empty? Come on, bro, if you know the type of friend I am, I'm going to fully furnish this room. I'm gonna buy Dennis a bed, I'm gonna buy Dennis a TV, I'm gonna get Dennis a mini fridge, I'm gonna get Dennis a gaming setup, a desk. I'm going to turn this big empty guest house into Dennis's dream guest house before I give him the keys. Are you guys ready to join me for this process? Let's go, guys. All right, guys, now I'm back at my parents' house and I'm gonna go up to Dennis's room and take all of his belongings and move them into my new house without him knowing. Oh my God, bro. Look how close I was to running over this light, by the way. Just look how close I was to actually hitting that light. This is literally what I call a buzzer beater. Look. How close, bro. But anyways, guys, follow me upstairs to Dennis's room. Bro, I feel so bad for Dennis right now. He's probably at Brian's house like, yo, bro, um, you know your brother like kicked me out, right? He's probably thinking a million things right now, like where am I gonna live? Should I go back home to Arizona? Where can I find a good priced apartment? He's, his mind is probably running in circles right now and, and little does he know, he has absolutely nothing to stress about because we're gonna get all of this solved and he's gonna be living in that house with me. Dad, can you please help me move some stuff from Dennis's room? I'm ready, baby. Okay, mom. I'm mad at you. Why are you mad at me? Because you did this to Dennis. Even if it's a prank, I feel bad. I That's the fun part right here. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Mom, can you grab the camera? And me and my dad will do the dirty work. Okay, yeah. So, we got to move the mattress. The mo okay, my dad's ready to work. So, <laughs> let's just go. Let's go. First things really first, I think we should move the mattress. Mattress first? Come on. You can't sleep in a room with no bed, so let's move the mattress. Look her. Look her. You're going to have to get Stop. off. Stop. Get Stop. off. Stop. Okay. Dad, ready? Three. Yeah. Two, one, go. I'm not ready. Go. Booker! Look! Book. Okay. <laughs> Booker! Get hey, down. we're Get on down. a time crunch. Dennis is gonna come when the sun's game starts. Come here. Here, you want the slipper? It's gonna go right here. It's gonna go right here. Okay. Okay. Come here. You want the slipper? Here. Mom, look at him. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, come on, hurry before he comes back. Ah, oh. Dad, hold on, hold on. This is heavy. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> what size mattress is this? <laughs> Triple King? All right, hold on. Okay. Ah, Are you serious, oh, Book? No. Okay, guys, so we got the mattress taken care of. Now we gotta bring all of Dennis's clothes from his closet. Okay, follow me, Mom. Uh, this one, it doesn't matter. Oh boy, this is all this? All this and then over here too. Damn. Yo, Dennis Loki got a lot of clothes. Fashionista over here. Okay, dad, thank you for helping me because I would not be able to do this on my own. Shout out Papa Rug and shout out Mama Rug for filming. Thank you. Ah, oh, <laughs> you need help? No, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Obviously, I'm not a thief by any means necessary. This man has a son's Devin Booker jersey. Yeah. This is staying home with Papa. See? I'm gonna leave this one here and... Don't worry, Dennis. I'll let you keep the rest of your clothes. I'm just taking that son's jersey, so... Bro, who knew clothes are this heavy? Heavier than the mattress. I don't know about all that, but they are pretty heavy. <laughs> it might look like we have everything here, but I swear I saw a monitor in his closet because Dennis likes to game. Still gotta make one more trip up to his room, but... At least we got the clothes now, so... Dad, is my car unlocked? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Dennis, when you watch this, look what they went through. Just for you, but you you deserve it. We love you, Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah! Ah! 
Ah! You're gonna have to hang everything, you know that. Mom. Yes, ma'am. We're still stressing out about moving everything down, <laughs> and you're already adding more stress about what we gotta do at the new house? Just telling you. <laughs> Please, let me live my life. Okay, guys, we got the keyboard, we got the monitor, Papa Rug got the computer. We finally got everything ready to go. And now it's time to go to my new house and get Dennis's dream room set up. Ready, Dad? I'm ready, baby. Let's, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Dad, wait right here. I almost forgot one thing. Hold up. You're running out of bed. Dude, you know how much stuff we had to move? <laughs> Guys, there was something I forgot. Just, uh, Mom, come with me uh, upstairs and uh, okay. this is the last thing I promised. Then we'll go set up Dennis's new room. You promised this ten, 10 hours ago. Well, 10 hours and one minute now. <laughs> what did you forget? Um, well, like I said, Dennis games. Dennis is a gamer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Follow me. What is a gamer without... No, you didn't. ...their PS5, you know what I mean? So now we're ready to surprise Dennis with his dream room. Okay, guys, now I'm ready to hit the road. Okay, guys, so we just pulled up to my crib and... It's time to get Dennis's room set up. How much fun do you think me and Dennis are gonna have together over here? You and Dennis in the same house? Yup. That is gonna be lit. Guys, this isn't even Dennis's TV from his old room. We bought him a new TV. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Dad, I, I have an idea. Yeah. Before we bring in the mattress and the desk and all of Dennis's clothes and everything, I think it would be cooler for the video if we don't show them the whole process of moving everything step by step. I feel like that could get a little bit boring. I think what would be more fun for them to watch is if we cut the camera, snap our fingers, and then show them the finished product of Dennis's dream room. Okay guys, so I want everyone to do me a huge favor. Take a good look at the room. Take a good look at this big empty guest house. And on the count of three, you guys will get the full transition. Three, two, one. Ah! Okay, guys, we got the room set up. Now let's see what it looks like. Boom. Bro, look at this. Guys, we got the bed over here. Big bed. We got the TV right here. We brought his PS5 over here. We also surprised him with a customized Phase Rug G Fuel mini fridge and just for a little decoration, since he is at Phase Rug's house right now, we got him a Phase Rug inflatable can. On top of that, like I said, Dennis loves to game. He loves to play Call of Duty, CSGO, all that stuff. We surprised him with his dream gaming setup. We got double monitor, keyboard, mouse. Well, I don't know what this is called, turtle beaches or I don't know. And then to top it off, we're surprising him with a brand new Vortex gaming chair, bro. Oh wait, we forgot the freaking bathroom. Look, I brought all of Dennis's essentials. Look, I brought everything from the other house. I even brought his beard comb, bro. <laughs> we got all of his stuff, toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, deodorant. We filled up his walk-in closet with the clothes. Look, look at this, bro. We brought all of his clothes, his shoes. Hey, yo, LeBron's? <laughs> Who knew D-Killer was a Braun fan? And now it's time to get Dennis's reaction to all this, bro. Suns game is literally about to start. Look at this. We got the starting lineups up on the screen. Tip-off is about to happen. The game is about to start right now. And Dennis still isn't here. He promised me he would watch the game with me, but he never showed up. I don't know if Dennis is mad at me or upset with me, or maybe he doesn't know that the game started because it's literally just about to start right now. But I'm gonna give Dennis a call and see what's up. Cause I wanna surprise him with his dream room right now, baby. I'm done waiting. I wanna get his reaction. Yo, Dennis. What up? What are you doing? Nothing, bro. I'm just I'm looking at some like apartments and stuff. Oh, um, you know the Suns game just started, right? Oh shit, it started? Yeah, yeah, come through. Let's watch it together. Okay, come on, come right now. Alright, I'll see you, bro. Okay, bro. Bye. Dude, how sad is it that he's looking at a part, bro? I freaking love Dennis. Like, he didn't even try to argue or try to like, oh, bro, are you sure I can't move in with you? Or are you sure I can't stay with your parents? No, he right away just accepted the fact that he needs to go find an apartment. He, bro, I, I freaking love Dennis. Either way, let's go get Dennis's reaction to the room. All right, guys, I got my boy D Killer with me. What's good, what's good? So Dennis, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm vlogging my first night at the new house. Okay. And uh, I just feel like it would be good for the video because even though you're not living here, me and you together are a vibe. So I just feel like it would be more entertaining for the fans to watch a vlog of Rawadis' first night at the new house with you instead of by myself, you know? I'm down. But guys, step one to this vlog, we're gonna watch the Suns game together. Oh, Dennis, on a side note, did you find an apartment? I saw a lot of them. I didn't find like the one. How close though? What range? That's what I'm saying. They're all random, like weird area. Like, it's just like, I don't know. You gotta research like the area and yeah. like everything. 
Well, if you need help, like, looking or going to, like, apartment tours, I'll, I'll come with you. I don't mind. Okay, guys, so we got the Suns game on the TV. Oh, wait, Dennis. Ooh. Before you get too comfortable and have a seat and watch the game, I want to show you something outside real quick. Did you change something? Huh? Did you change something? Yeah, I, I actually did change something about the house. <laughs> and it's, it's probably something that you're not going to expect, but let's just go see it. Okay, wait. Why did you mention me changing something? What do you think I changed? The cabinets, because I see cabinets right here. Oh, this is what you think I changed. Oh, 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 I thought you changed like the bathroom and stuff. Oh, yeah, we are actually, <laughs> we are actually in the process of remodeling this bathroom, Dennis. And, and yeah, we are fixing up the that's cabinets. Fire. But what if I told you that um, that's not the only thing I changed? You're right, I did change something and it's not the bathroom. Just follow me. How many things are you gonna change? Okay, everybody follow me. Where are you taking me, bro? Bro, we're talking too much. Enough questions. I don't want to hear another word come out of your mouth, and I'm going to stop talking too. Everybody, stop talking and follow me. Why are we going to the guest house? Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I sorry. said, okay. stop talking. Okay. But yes, you're right. We're at the guest house, and I'm actually going to need you to um close your eyes. I know you might not trust me. You might think I'm like, I don't want to close my eyes next to you. I need you to trust me. Close okay. your eyes, okay? Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Close your eyes. Much. Um, Dad, can you follow me real quick? Dennis, don't look, please. Oh God, huh? So, Dad, I want you. You can stay maybe right here. Did okay. You get his reaction. Okay, I'm gonna bring him in right now, okay? okay? Keep them closed, Dennis. Keep them closed. Take a step up. There's a big step. One step up. Ow! Sorry. One step up. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Hold on. And I want you to open your eyes in three, two, one, and look at your new place. What? Bro. No. Is this for me? Bro. This is not for me. Bro. Don't lie, this is not for me. How you, did you get my setup here? You thought I was being serious? You thought I wasn't gonna let you stay in this house? You thought I was gonna make you move back to Arizona? You thought I was the type of person to make you go buy your own apartment? When I have extra rooms in my house? This is all yours. Stop, bro. This is all yours. I see a new chair. I see a mini fridge. When did you do all this? When you were contemplating life at Brian's house. So you didn't want it? Probably. Hey fam, I said I didn't catch feelings, but I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit hurt. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Dude, I can't speak right now. Bro, come on, take a tour. This is not a small room, Dennis. Oh my, I literally see a little bit of everything. I see TV, I see PlayStation, I see PC, I see fridge, I see Brian here. Dude, how sick. We got you a new gaming chair. This is your bed, bro. Bro. Wait, I'm hold on. Speechless Dennis, right now. Look at the bathroom. It's not a small bathroom, bro. Look in there. My stuff? Yeah, I brought oh my stuff. Oh my god! You even got my speaker here. You know I can't shower without it. Exactly. I know you be blasting that juice world, bro, oh all god. day. I'm like deodorant. I'm like alive and needing something. You're deodorant. Is this one mine? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Dennis, hold on. You got your own cloth. Or just just open that door. Open that door. Oh, you got me some new towels, man. I got you new towels. Oh my god, my stuff. Bro. My shoes. Dude, all my... <laughs> Dude, when did you do all this? I told you, while you were at Brian's looking for an apartment, be honest, you were probably talking so much shit about me to Brian. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna talk to you again. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Be honest, this man was probably at Brian's house going crazy. Hey, bro, your brother's a d Your brother's a douche, he no, kicked me out. I didn't say that, but if you ask Brian, he'll probably tell you I was stressing. It was literally such a struggle trying to find an apartment. It was like impossible, so you crazy. You wanna find an apartment in one day? I swear. This is your house? Yeah! yeah. Bro, Dennis, I already knew that I was gonna surprise you with this. I knew that I was gonna give you this guest house. I already knew that. But when we did the prank and you were so understanding and you did not try to argue back, you had no hard feelings towards me and you understood everything that I said. And you, That's what you think. Bro, I'm joking. And you took everything like a man and, and left my house and started looking for an apartment. You didn't feel any type of way towards me. You had no hatred towards me and, and you were so respectful even though I was trying to make you mad. I was trying to get a reaction out of you. I was trying to prank you and make you upset. And you still had so much respect in your answers. That made me want to surprise you with this guest house even more. Like I said, I was already planning on giving it to you, but the way you reacted when I told you that I didn't want you living here, it just made me want to surprise you with this guest house a million times more because you were such a real one, so respectful you, and Thank so you. understanding, bro. I love you, bro. Thank I love you. you too, bro. Dude, Dennis, bro, look at this, man. You got a freaking, your PS5 in here, TV, bed, bro, gaming. everything. Am I going to leave this room? It's honestly, I wouldn't even consider it a room. This is more of like a, an apartment. You have your own apartment. The good news for you, look, once you lock this door, 
I can't even come in and bother you. Yes, that's Dude, my dream. I don't like that because at my parents' house, we were just in two separate rooms. I was just across the hall. But now I have to freaking walk out of the front door and take like 10 steps and I can't barge in here. I have to, I have to knock and he has to let me in. And I'm not gonna open it. Hey, man, you're telling me you're not going to be staring at me through the window? I swear, this is going to be my spot right here. <laughs> nah, but I just figured, Dennis, we are getting older. And I mean, like I said, my girl, she might move in here. She might not. I don't know. We haven't talked about that yet. But just in case she does, I feel like this is perfect for you because we're still close enough to where we can hang out whenever we yeah. want. But you got your own privacy. Like I said, this is your own apartment. And then me and my girl, if we need it, we have our own privacy. But we're still so close. Yeah. Like, if I need anything from you or if I want to see you or if we want to hang out, we are literally 10 steps away, bro. This is the perfect situation. Why do you want to see me, bro? <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> this is the perfect scenario. Like, bro, I feel like I'm living with you, but also like I'm living in my own place. Yeah. You know I'm, what I'm saying? I swear, like, I can't think of a more perfect situation for two best friends than like sharing a house, but also having your own privacy. Like, trust me. Yeah. I have extra bedrooms in my house. Yeah. And like, you, you could have stayed in a bedroom. No, but I'd I just, rather have this a million times. I was gonna say, this just feels like a little condo or like your own apartment. It's 100%. so sick. Bro. I got my own sink in here, fam. Look, who knows, I might throw in a oven in here, a toaster. Who knows, I'm gonna go crazy. Bro, I swear, and then the fridge, but also guys, look, two sinks because, Ooh! look, a bath. No, I'm chilling in here all night. I'm gonna bring some girls in here too. <laughs> Wait, oh, this wait. is a jacuzzi too. Yeah. Well, it has jets. I'm not gonna press it, yeah. it has jets. Oh, oh my god. So am I allowed to bring girls in here? Are you allowed to bring girls in here? Can I bring girls in here? This is your own apartment. This is your own place. You don't need to ask me to do anything. Yes, I own the house. I'm inviting you. I'm welcoming you to live here. Meaning you don't have to ask me to do anything. You can do whatever you want. This is your home. This is your home, bro. Thank you, bro. That means a lot. Yeah, I got you. I know you're getting older. You might you might start dating soon, too. So we got two sinks. Maybe one for your girl, one for you. Like every Everything you need is in here, whether it's for yourself or thinking down the line in the future. If you do end up you know, in a relationship, I feel like this is still perfect for that. You got your shower over here. Oh, so it's a standing shower. Bro. And I got a seat. Watch out. Woo. <laughs> right, turn the water on. Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, no water. Bro, Dennis, how sick is the setup? Two monitors, the PC. Setup, bro, bro, this is my dream right here. So my new chair too. Ooh. With your new chair. Okay, guys, so I think that's gonna close out today's video. I mean, I don't think I have any more left to say. Dennis, if you wanna say anything um, to the supporters watching. I don't think I could put that many words together right now because I'm so shocked. <laughs> but I wanna say thank you so much. Oh, I got you. Thank you, Ron, thank you too. I know you helped me. You said it correctly. I wanna give a huge shout out to my dad, Papa Rug, because I didn't he, do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, you did. It was all you. <laughs> Dude. And Brandon's like, Dad, what should I do? How should I do this? Bro, come on, Dad. You helped a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm here. We don't want him to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for hey. this. Oh! I think I know the real reason my dad helped bring all the stuff in here. Uh. He didn't want you living at his house, so he's like, get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he told me that in the prank. He said, My parents want some alone time, they don't want you at the house. Honestly, that was a that was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's going to close out today's video. Not only is Dennis excited, not only am I excited because we get to stay together and live together. Bro, all the plans we've been talking about from the second I signed the papers on this house and now to actually move in here, all those plans we had, all the all the dreams that we had of living together, now they're actually true. Our dreams are coming true. Our dreams are coming true. We actually moved out of my parents' house into our own place. Pinch. Ow! It's not a dream. It's, it's not, not a, dream. a dream. We actually are gonna make everything we ever talked about happen. Two best friends living together in a place like this, that's every friendship's dream. Dude, it's gonna be lit. It, it's gonna be lit. Yeah, I mean, not only are we excited, but I know you guys watching this video are excited because bro, what's bro Wattis without Dennis? What is this YouTube channel without this guy? What are these YouTube videos without him? They're nothing. I know you guys don't watch these videos for me. You guys watch for Dennis. So I know you guys are hyped that Dennis is not moving away. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Dennis, I love you. Love you too, bro. Thank I love you so much again, Of bro. course, I got you. You know how I am with my friends. Yeah, I, yeah, I always 100%. be taking care of my friends. Always, bro. Like, I got loyalty with my brothers, whether it's my blood brother, FaZe Rug, or whether it's one brother right here. I got loyalty from my friends, and I always try to take care of them as much as I could. So, Dennis, I love you. Love and, you um, yeah, we're out. Peace. And 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 we're out. Peace.